Hi there, welcome to the Upcycle Design Lab. Today I'm going to be testing a new paint product from Deco Art called Deco Earth. And I'm very excited to try this paint because it's made from 70% reclaimed paint. And if you know anything about my channel, you know that I love to upcycle, recycle, and repurpose. So this is not a sponsored video, but they did send me these samples and ask me for some feedback. Some things I did not know before this were that there are about 700 million gallons of house paint sold each year. And of that, about 10% of it is not used. So that means that approximately 75 million gallons of house paint are headed to the landfill. And what Deco Art has done is they've partnered with another company to figure out how to reclaim some of that house paint and make it into pretty acrylic craft colors. So they have a very nice muted color palette to choose from, and I'm expecting these paints to perform pretty similar to any craft grade acrylic paint. But let's dive in and see what happens. So here's a closer look at the paints that I got. They sent me purple, blue, this is called uh, berry red and yellow. But I'm kind of curious about one thing because the yellow says that it is semi-transparent, the berry says it's transparent, and the other two say that they are opaque. And I looked at my other acrylic paints and there was no reference on any of them about being opaque or transparent. So I'm, I'm not sure what that designation means. And then here's just a closer look at their paint palette right now. It's just some nice, really uh, basic, but muted uh, matte colors. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just spread a little of the paint out to see what kind of coverage we're going to get. So I don't think I mentioned, but these paints, right as far as I know right now, they're not available in stores, but you can find them on the Deco Art website. That yellow was the semi-transparent, so just a thin coat of that does seem like maybe it's a little bit, I don't know, it doesn't look very transparent really to me, which is actually good. I didn't want the paints to be, you want your paint to cover your paper, but this does maybe seem like it's a little heavier coat of paint, just brushing on a little bit. So I guess I can kind of see the difference that they're talking about. Let's try the red now because this is the paint that they say is actually transparent. They do seem like just nice craft acrylic paints though. I don't know if you can see it on screen, but this is kind of a lighter coverage than that purple was. But I wouldn't uh, exactly consider it, you know, transparent. You might just have to use an extra coat of that color. So let's get the last one done here. They're nice and thick. And there, I think they are all matte finishes right now. So I guess I can tell the difference, uh, what they're saying between the opaque colors. These are, the purple and the blue are definitely kind of a thicker coverage. But I don't notice that much difference between the transparent and the semi-transparent finish of the yellow. So for whatever that's worth. The next thing I'm going to try is just mixing some of the paints with white and I'm just mixing it with the Americana regular acrylic paint. I'm assuming that you could easily mix the colors together and I'm expecting that they will mix with any paint but we're going to just see how they look when they're mixed with a little bit of white paint. This white seems to be not quite as thick as the 
Deco Earth Paint colors. You can see it's puddling a little bit more than the Deco Earth. But it seems to be mixing just fine. For this next test, I thought I would see uh, how the paints blended together. So I'm going to be using the yellow and the berry on this first blending test. So there's the purple and the yellow blended together. And I also did some other color combinations. The blue and the yellow, the berry and the purple, the blue and the uh, purple and the berry and the blue. So even just with those four colors, you can get a really nice, pretty, color palette out of that. The last thing I thought I would look at is just the color change between wet and dry. So I would say that there really isn't much color shift. There's a little more gloss to the paint when it's wet, but um, as far as color shifting, there isn't a lot. Now, this is the transparent color, and I guess you can see that it's a little bit lighter, maybe, as far as coverage than this purple, which is truly opaque. You can see a little bit more of the white uh, paper behind there, but I, th I think it still has pretty good coverage, even just being considered a transparent color. I think the yellow might have just a hair darker color once it dries. And again, it's a little bit, I, I can see that they're calling it semi-transparent, I guess, but the coverage is actually not bad. But if you did want a little heavier coat, you could definitely put a second coat on there. And again on this one, I don't, I think maybe that it dries just a hair darker, deeper, but there's not a lot of color change. And same thing on the purple. And part of that color change may more, be more just the difference that it switches from a shinier finish to the more matte finish when it dries. You can probably find most two ounce bottles of any type of paint for around $1.50 to $2. Some of them are a little bit more expensive, but the Deco Earth right now is about $2.48 for a two ounce bottle. You have to buy them in sets right now, or they're calling them collections. So you get eight two ounce bottles for $19.84 on their website. Or you can get the 8 ounce bottle for a little over $8, which if you do the math roughly comes out to about a dollar an ounce, which is right in the ballpark of what most craft paints sell for. So not surprisingly, this paint performed very similar to other acrylic craft paints, but it does have the amazing added bonus of being 70% reclaimed paint. And I think it comes in a really pretty color palette as well. So I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to Deco Art's Deco Earth paint line. Click the like button to help promote this video. 
If you aren't already a part of my YouTube community, I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to receive the Upcycle Design Lab newsletter, check the description box for a link to join my email list. You can watch more content from the Upcycle Design Lab by clicking one of the links below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back here soon in the lab for my next experiment.